all right in this video i'm gonna talk about the second method of uh, the structure light 3d scanner uh, module so in my previous video i have explained this method this is uh, actually um, not an accurate method this is a roughly estimated method of a reconstructed object because we cannot adjust skew and scale very accurately for uh, every uh, scanning so in this uh, module we need we don't need reference images and we don't need the system parameters but now I'm going to explain this module in which we are going to use reference images and the actual system parameters. So um, in this module we can use uh, the same three, four, five step algorithm uh, and uh, we will put the actual system parameters L, P, D, width and height. We are not going to use focal length of the camera and D not. D not is a uh, is usually a zero so l is a distance between the reference plane and the camera and projector d is the distance between the camera and projector so it makes the triangle actually you know we can we can actually get the um, three information from the triangulation method so it's actually triangulation method so actually what is the reference plane um, reference plane uh, is a is a flat plane plane uh, that we use as a reference coordinate system for the scanned object so uh, in that case the triangulation um, um, mathematical calculation becomes easy and uh, we can uh, get the 3d coordinate coordinates uh, uh, very accurately so um, if you see this image it says that red color steps are for 15 images so we are going to use red colored steps so just follow the steps so first step is Gaussianize so if you are going to if you want to use Gaussianize on and this uh, on the captured fringe pattern images you can use three maybe okay and the second step is which face arabian algorithm you're gonna use so call it algorithm. the third step is import the seventh step for images so in this case this module are going to import 15 images seven are object images and seven are reference images and one is uh, the uh, for structure uh, for texture so if you want to understand what is the reference image you can see that this is a reference flat board so for capturing the reference images we just project the reference uh, the structure light pattern onto the this flat board without object without any human or without any object so we just capture those images as a reference so we we only need those images uh, um, in order to calculate the 3d uh, depth of the object but this is just a one-time process you don't need uh, you don't need to uh, project and capture the reference images for each scan if your setup is fixed and uh, you are not gonna ch change your setup dimensions setup measurements or uh, set up uh, uh, coordinates so you don't need to measure you don't need to capture reference images for each scan you just capture at one time So just like the first image, okay, and it says is done. And now the first step is use the uh, system parameter. So for this, for these images, the system parameter was the distance between the reference and flat board to 
the projector was 1000 mm yeah 1000 and the pitch was 16 d was 368 463 width and height pixel to millimeter ratio these are the 480 360 okay and fifth step is what was the setup method so in that case the projector was aligned with the reference plane so in that case our uh, our algorithm uh, would be the three one okay the sixth is start point cloud data yeah so if you see uh, something is wrong because uh, oh yeah actually the algorithm was not selected so so here is our skin model so this uh, this model now uh, has the actual measurements because we are we are using the actual measurement of the setup so this model also has the actual uh, measurements so you can actually verify later and uh, yeah you can actually analyze this um, mapping uh, algorithms whatever so again you can use this uh, density value and, and you can turn on the triangulation shading on so if you are done you can press off of scanning and you can uh, smooth it a little bit yeah and you can perform mesh filter because of this out layer yeah you can actually make it a little fine yeah. You can export it into PNY, yes, okay. Now you can import it again. Yeah, it's done. I would like to explain a little more about the reference image and the system parameter. So if you see this image, so this image have a projector, camera, and object and a reference plane. So this a circular actually a bed, you can say it's the reference image. Okay, in this case this is a projector and this is an object this is uh, a reference table camera so this circular pad you can assume as a reference plane and the object is placed onto the reference plane so assume that this is the area that is being captured by the camera so the width and height parameter is the width and height of this area in millimeter 
so if the camera is capturing 512 by 512 pixels so the pixels to millimeter ratio you can calculate using that and this is the L from projector lens to reference plane and this is D from camera lens to projector lens and the setup is projector is aligned with the z-axis of the reference plane so this is our third algorithm so actually it's, it's pretty easy because it's a, it's a triangulation method so if you draw this uh, line so you will see this is a triangle so you can calculate the depth of the object using this triangulation method I hope this uh, description makes you clear yeah it's done uh, see you in next video